what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome to episode 32 of pokemon ruby second chance last time i went through the weather institute and i almost finished up route 119 which is what i'm gonna do in the next like four minutes so that's exciting i have falco in the front of my party so i'm gonna keep him there and yeah here we go this is the final trainer in route 119 to hide a tree use a forest yes Okay. So, Hideo, or Hideo, Hido, uh, has a level 26 copying, so we're going to use Steel Wing. And taking down this copying should get Falco to level 36. That's exciting. Hey, look at that defense boost. Not like I care. Actually, I might care. That defense boost may have actually saved Felco. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Alright. Level 36, and another coughing. So I'm actually going to go over to Psyquake. Psyquake is one level away from evolving, which may or may not happen in this video. I'm not sure, to be honest. What am I- wait, 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 wait! What am I doing? I wanted to use- uh, I wanted to use Psybeam. Ugh. That was so stupid. I did not mean to use Ancient Power. Because if I had... And a, another critical... Well, two critical hits in a row. If I had used Psybeam to begin with, then... The Psyquake wouldn't have been poisoned. Because more likely, Psybeam would have knocked out that coughing one hit anyways, even without the critical hit. Uh, we have six palm egg berries here, so I'm gonna pick them all. And there we go. So, now we are in Fortree! So, it was actually half the time that I said I said it would take four minutes. It actually only took two, two minutes and 15 seconds. So, that's exciting. Alrighty. So, yeah, we are in Fortree. This is the city with the next gym. However, I won't be challenging the gym in this episode, mainly because I can't. Um, let's put Gary to the front. Um, yeah, you. Yeah, so the gym is right there, that building with the brown roof. But you literally can't because there's something invisible that you can't see. Something that's invisible and that you can't see. Wow, I am really smart. No, something that's so something that you can't see or invisible, whatever you want to say. Um, you can't you can't uh, cross right because there's something blocking your way. So we have to deal with that. We can't deal with it right now. Oh, you smell singe. We in a volcano or something? Maybe. Anyways, we are now in Route 120. Gonna battle this uh, this girl. Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you, you can win against me. Oh yeah, right, she doesn't actually tell me, right? Clarissa has a Goldeen. And I'm using a fire type, that's smart. All right, well, let's go with rock throw. Watch this do like not even a third. Oh, I did about a third, okay. All right, we'll just keep using uh, Rock Throw. Doesn't Flail do more damage the more the Pokemon likes its trainer? And your Flail is doing, like, nothing. So does that mean that this Goldeen hates her trainer? Because that would seem to be the way. I, I think that's how Flail works. All right, anyways, I'm going to use an Ember. And you know what, actually? I might save Gary for... Because he's got Rock Throw, so that might work well against the gym. And you have a whale mark. Okay, so I'm actually going to go over to Cherifita. We won't be seeing Cherifita much, if at all, in the in the gym. So, might as well make this, uh, you know, make this an easy, easy finish here for this battle. And there we go! Okay. Donnie's got an item. A full restore. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to actually put Psychic in the front since it's so close to evolving. And, well, 
Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I can actually get the rare candy, because this is a, a rare candy over here, but I think there is something unseeable. It's the same It's the same thing as blocking the gym. No, I am wrong. Okay. Rare candy, awesome. See, I told you it was rare candy. That's, I, the, the, I, I remember where most of the rare candies are, just because, I mean, what, I mean, like, it's a rare candy. Like, you know, it's a good thing to remember. Anyways, um... I get it. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay. Hey, look at here. I remember you. I got this battle all on here. On, on this here camera. Okay. Let's do it. Megaton and Loudred. So. I uh, will mud slap Magneton. And you, I really gotta do this thing about having the, like, having these three moves, Crush Claw, Strength, and Slash, is just, it's pointless. And I really gotta do something about that. I don't know for sure if Zangoose can learn Brick Break. I would think so. Um, but if I can re remember where to get the TM for Brick Break in this game, then I will teach that to him. Because I don't have any fighting type coverage on my team. So, yeah. Man, oh man, Mudslap must be a really, really, really bad move. <laughs> like, it's four times of, I, like, I know it has, like, not very much power, but my goodness, it's four times effective, and it's, like, not, it, it's, like, not even doing that much to Magneton. Not as much I thought, as I thought it would. Okay. Come on, Tavoli, don't hit yourself in confusion. Thank you! It's like you heard me. And one Mudslap will, one more, one more but Mudslap will do the trick. Here we go. Yes. Ha ha. Yep, I got it all. That whole battle's on camera. Great. Okay. No, I don't want an interview. No. Ugh. Okay. Moving on. Uh, gonna keep side quick up there. Hello. My Pokemon is strong. How about yours? Yes. Very much so. Robert has a Swablu. No problem. Ancient power. Haha! -ha! Another critical. Is that the second? I think it's the second uh, critical hit Ancient power I've got in this video, which is kind of funny. And there we go. We're both more stronger. Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, that's quite obvious. And look, it's Steven! Hmm? Jake, hi. He doesn't seem too enthusiastic. There's something here that you can't see, right? Now, if I were to use this device on the invisible uh, uh, obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. Yes, that would be more fun. An invisible Pokemon became completely visible! The style of Pokemon attacked! Yeah, that. In case you have, you 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 have, you can't tell. That is the uh, the thing that's blocking our way to the sixth gym. So I will use ancient power, and then I'm going to use mud slap. Hey, I have that move too. Wow. You know what? Screw it. I'm using... <sighs> It'll be better once I quit. Like, uh, believe me, I have a, like, a really good moveset planned out for Psyquake, but it's gonna take some time, because, uh, it's pretty much gonna be TMs. Like, I think I'm gonna need... I, I, I know for sure two, two TMs I'm gonna be teaching it, but maybe even a third? Possibly a fourth, I don't know. I, I like, I'll never use self-destruct, so, uh, like, like, it is a really strong move to have. Um, but I don't think, like, I don't really, the thing I don't like about it is how your Pokemon dies, and I like any experience. So, yeah, I mean, it's good, you know, it's a nice, powerful attack to have against your opponent, but, I mean, Psyquick wouldn't be getting experience, uh, you know, at that point. So, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep, if I'm gonna keep that, or if I'm going to, you know, I don't know. Anyways, I, I, it, basically what I'm trying to say is that my planned moveset for Psyquick is pretty much gonna 
all like entirely require TMs. Like I don't really plan like I don't plan on keeping side beam. I don't plan on keeping mud slap. I don't plan on keeping agent power. So yeah, that's kind of my reasoning for that. And there we go. We got the Devon scope. Sure, where, where do you want to meet? Okay, he just takes off. All right, we have another Bird Keeper. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? I do, as a matter of fact. I very much do. Okay, Colin. Colin's got a not to. This is no problem for Psyquake. Ancient Power. Hey, yeah, my problem with Ancient Power, like... I mean, it, it, like, 60 power is not bad, but my power, my power, I, I can't speak. My problem with that move is the fact that it only has 5 PP. And yes, I know I can give it a PP up or PP max, but I'd rather use that for, for like, a, like, like, for example, Gary's overheat would be, would be, would be a better use for a PP up or a PP max. So, yeah. Um... I think the only I, 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 I'm like 99% sure that the reason why Asian Power only has five PP is because there's a chance that, that all five st stats of that Pokemon could be boosted. So, yeah, and it's a good thing that Rain doesn't do damage like Hail does or uh, Sans, you know, or Sandstorm or whatever, because then Psychic would be dead. But instead, this guy's not too is dead. You have a swallow. How swell! Gee, I've Aha. been saved by Fox. How swell! I'm gonna heal again because I'm terrified, and I'm using super potions when I want to use up the sort of pops. Is this a waste? Uh, I think it would be. It's like gonna be in between, like fifty something. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Like, 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 you know, in between what a uh, what a super potion would do and what a soda pop would do, because super potion heals fifty and a soda pop heals sixty, and that did uh, that healed fifty six. So, oh, you've got to be joking! Fine, you know what? You keep doing that, and I'll switch over to to, to Foley and use Shockwave. So, yeah. Okay, I probably won't even need to do that. I just need one more ancient power, and then you're dead. Oh, come on. See, that's exactly what I was talking about. I didn't even realize that I was almost out of PP. Like, I, I, I noticed it when there was three left, but I didn't even... <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I could, That's exactly what I was talking about. Like, it's only... My goodness. Oh, you've got to be joking. Oh, come on! Ugh. Oh, see, that was a waste. I, 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 was, I, I wasn't even looking at the HP. That was a waste of a soda pop. I should have used a super potion. Wait, what am I doing? I don't want to go to my bag. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I, I absolutely hate the trainers who use double team over and over and over and over. And look at that. It's not even working for you. Because you, you use it, what, four times, three times, and... Psyquake Psybeam still hit you, so... And there we go! That is what I was waiting for. Level 36 for Psyquake. You soared above me. Yes, I did. And... Yes! This is what I was waiting for. Psyquake is gonna be dominant now. And it'll be even more dominant, like I said, once I improve its moveset. Awesome. This is the first time I believe I have ever used a clay doll. What? <laughs> it's Moose is already gonna be better. Um it is a phys it is a special attacker, I hope. Uh yeah. I'm gonna get rid of self-destruct. Um, I did not realize that 
Claydol learn Hyper Beam after like it evolved into into a Claydol. I'm really hoping that you're not a okay good. You're more of a special attacker than physical attacker, so that was a good call because that is a uh, special move. I think these are all. I don't know what Mudslap is, but these three are special moves. So okay, perfect. So guys, um, before I end this off, I'm gonna go back to Fortree. And I'm going to end, I'm going to heal off screen, but I'm going to end the video in front of the gym because next episode we're going to be taking on the gym, which is going to be exciting. So, yes, and this Kecleon we don't have to battle. It just it just runs away because you know he's a coward. So yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in the next episode. We're going to be taking on the next gym. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you all then. Peace out.